Well, since the start of the Make in India project, defense is a sector where people in the country have been trying to come up with innovations and technology so that they can help the defense. And where we are right now is another such company called the Flying Wedge, which has tried its effort on the unmanned bomber. And what in front of you is a display of that particular bomber that you can see. And from what I've learned uh, from uh, the people at the Flying Wedge that they've already had a successful run of this particular bomber and this bomber is specially used uh, for operations uh, uh, where uh, the uh, gathering intelligence is required from the air or if you have to attack your enemy without the loss of human lives. So those are the reasons for which bombers like this are used and as you can see the length of it, it's a modified version of a drone with uh, your propellers. Uh, and stuff uh, on the side and this is how uh, the flying wedge company which has been making such uh, making this drone wants to make a statement with the fact that india can also produce such unmanned vehicles it's only a ch it's only that a chance should be given to companies like this so that they can show uh, their uh, a talent in the field of the defense sector so i am joined by uh, mr suhas who is uh, the architect of uh, uh, the unmanned bomber and the uh, flying wedge that you see behind us uh, Give us an, uh, tell us about this particular bomber and uh, uh, its specifications and what is it for? Yeah, so this is FWD-200B bomber that we launched on May 3rd. This was one of the much awaited projects from uh, various departments and also people of India. Today with a lot of pride I would like to say we have done our maiden flight, tested certain parameters and after that we are giving this release. So this is a bomber class aircraft. This is a semi-stealth aircraft uh, with uh, various radar absorbent materials on it. This is a completely carbon fiber made uh, aircraft and this can have a range of about 800 kilometers and this is used for air strikes as well as intelligence surveillance reconnaissance missions. This can be also used in various humanitarian operations like disaster relief programs, various tactical missions like uh, you know health supplies, medical supplies and various other stuff. So this can be in air for about uh, 7 hours. This is a 5 meter wingspan aircraft that you are seeing. Another version of 12 meter wingspan will be very soon in front of you which we are already testing it. And this aircraft uh, you know, uh, has a max speed of about 250 kmph and uh, can cruise at about 150 kmph roughly okay. and can achieve a service ceiling of about 15,000 feet. Okay, before I get into more details of the flight, okay, if you could tell us where would you ho hold these missiles that would go off from this or uh, it would something come out from the missiles? So uh, we are planning uh, two types of mechanisms on this. One is something uh, in the bay, under the belly, which can just open up and throw the killer drones. Killer drones are something, again, monopoly product of us. Uh, it can carry 500 grams of ammunition. Again, it is a guided uh, uh, UAV uh, with uh, onboard processor on it. So it can precisely take down an air base, you know, if you are putting it in a swarm. That is one option. If you want to have certain warheads, uh, the option could be you can, can carry three warheads of 10 kgs each, uh, each beside the pylon on both the sides under the wings and one can be right below the belly. So total how many kgs of weapon that you can uh, this uh, weapon? This can go up to 35 kgs of weapon and it's a total of 102 kg class. class. Okay. So you're not the only company that's been trying this. A lot of Indian companies are also the DRD also. Trying to, what makes you different? Uh, so one thing is a uh, lot of companies are trying. I'm happy about it. Uh, but looking at the current scenario today that uh, India's desperation for having a male aircraft because of warfare dynamics changed and uh, we are also looking at a lot of male aircrafts to be procured, roughly about 5,000 and currently none in actually service. That bothers us a lot. That's where how different this is. is it is built from the complete, complete subcomponents, everything right from propulsions to various systems that you see, subsystems which are again a type certified for airworthiness on other aircrafts. The same platform is being used in this also. So today imagine there is a crisis. Most of the players that you talk about uh, have to, in, including Hermes, they might have to import uh, uh, Austin engines, Rotax 912 engines and various other components from various companies and they might have to assemble the aircraft and make it. There is a dependency on various players. But now with this aircraft, imagine today there is a crisis. So we can mass manufacture this and help the country. Uh, entire subsystems are made in India. Mr. you're talking about uh, crisis. Okay, right now there are two wars, more a lot of wars going on. But the two big wars, if you talk about, is the Israel-Palestine and your Ukraine. And we've heard how the use of drones and unmanned vehicles have become uh, more than uh, manned vehicles and aircraft. So do you think, think that Indian government should also pick this up as fast as possible? No, Indian government wants to pick this up. And that is where they're looking for uh, who can give this aircraft. Because... Uh, I felt very bad when uh, Turkey told that, you know, we are not going to give the technology, mail aircrafts to uh, India. And uh, Iran is already full with order book, Russia consuming it, the most of it. And then uh, we are in uh, talks with Predator India, as you know, the $3 billion, $4 billion deal it is. But it is not happening from two years. I mean, uh, US is just, you know, 
dodging around, not giving it. That is when we realize that you know this is the time we have to be self-reliant and make something. And we announced it and we delivered it today. And I'm sure India needs it and they're going to take it. So you're hopeful that the defense uh, forces will look into this uh, unmanned vehicle and uh, make it a part of their... Already a lot of talks are going on, a lot of traffic is going on around this. So it follows uh, as per the procedure, defense acquisition procedure. Uh, we're hoping to, uh, you know, sell it as soon as possible. Congratulations to us on this achievement. So this is your unmanned bomber which has been put on display for the country to see that their defense system is also booming uh, with the boom uh, of uh, uh, the country. Now this is what we're waiting for uh, in the defense sector. Let's hope uh, the country takes note of this uh, and in the flagship of the Make in India project, things like this will only bring India to the top. This is Vaji with Mahendra for News 9.